Good afternoon, Remnant Connection. God bless you. This is Jackie in Oregon. Welcome back. I love each and every one of you, and I just appreciate your prayers and your comments so much. We've become such friends. Amen. And also, thank you for giving through the super thanks uh, in the comments area there at the top. Thank you so much. Your Every dollar you send me is a blessing in my life. I know these are hard times. Amen. And I kind of chuckle because every time I post a new word, um, they're checking uh, midway between YouTube is checking the check midway between my uh, videos that they want to interrupt with commercials. And I make them so mad because I remove that they can. I don't want them interrupting in my in the middle of the videos. I believe it, you know, disturbs the flow of the Holy Spirit. And I'm not making the money that I should, and they're not making the money they should. And I'm always having to remember to take that out of there. Amen. But when we get on this channel, I want the spirit to flow. Amen. And I go into this each day. Uh, I don't want to be interrupted. Everybody knows I'm uh, doing my videos early. I turn off my phone. You know, I want the Holy Spirit to flow through these channels. So I think I catch it most every time, but YouTube gets mad at me because they want commercials in the middle of the videos and I won't do it. Amen. So anyway, I don't know how I started sharing that, but I just was, uh, again, removing that check. They continue to want to put those uh, commercials mid-roll and I won't do it. <laughs> Anyway, God bless you. Today's afternoon quick is needing to be heard. Amen. Needing to be heard. Amen. So I've uh, chosen Psalm 141, and I'm just going to read one through three today. O oh Lord, I call upon thee, hasten to me, give ear to my voice when I call to you. May my prayer be counted as incense before thee, and lifting up my hands as an evening offering. Now here's verse 3. Set a guard, O oh Lord, over my mouth. Keep a watch over the doors of my lips. So I would say uh, maybe many of us need to post verse 3 by the door as we leave each day and make that prayer at night. Amen. Verse 3, set a guard, O Lord, over my mouth and keep a watch over the door of my lips. Amen. So many of us have this need to be heard. And especially people my age, you know, because, and I'm being sarcastic here, because we have so much wisdom and we've learned so much through life. And we have all this that we can share to help you all. <laughs> so I, I make light of this, but, you know, God has had to deal with me in my life. And many of you are going to relate to this because as you raise your children and as they go out on their own, and as my children are well into their 40s, I've had to learn to put a guard over my mouth. Amen. I've had to learn uh, that the need for me to put my input to be heard and Often it is wisdom because I have learned, lived a long time. Amen. But we have got to go to the Lord in prayer for our children rather than put what we believe, what we need to say, the need that we need to be heard. Amen. And that's our faith and that's our trust in God that he is able, he is able to, gu to guide our adult children where they need to be. Uh, what they could correct. Amen. So it's something that we're constantly learning. When your children go off to college, you have to learn that. When your children marry and you see them going down the wrong way, there's such a need for us to be heard because we can see where they're heading, where they're going. And yet often God says, you be quiet and you pray and you trust in me. You raised them in the Lord. They've come to the Lord. They're being drawn to the Lord. And there's that need for us to be heard. And yet God is growing us all up. Even at 74 years old, I'm still growing up in him. There's so much I see, but they're not going to listen. They're not going to hear. They're, you know, we have to only pray and trust in the Lord that he will get through to them. Amen. 
So the title, I, a word, uh, needing to be heard. There's a need in every one of us. And I think especially the older we get as we've been through so much. We've seen so much. We understand much. But you know what? God is the one that's in control in their lives. And you know what? You know as well as I do, they're not going to listen to you anyway. And we can pray that God would send people to them that are born again and wise Christians that they will listen to. That's always a good prayer, amen, that God would send them godly people with godly wisdom and godly advice. Because if you're a parent, a grandparent, they're not going to listen to you anyway, amen. And that builds our faith. That causes us to be on our knees with the Lord, praying for these things that we see that we can't talk about. There is that need in each and every one one of us that need to be heard. Amen. And you're going to find out when life, as you get older, if you're one that just keeps throwing your wisdom out there, you're going to have fewer and fewer friends. Amen. Because that need to be heard will push people away. Amen. So build your faith through prayer. Realize that your children, your grandchildren are most probably not going to listen to on rare occasions. God uses us. Amen. I know this, but they will come to you and they will ask the other times that need to be heard within each and every man is from here to heaven. Amen. For a healthy walk within your own life, it's from here to heaven. You want to have friends at the end of the day. It's not always throwing it out there. Your wisdom that need to be heard because you know what? People will pull away. Amen. They don't want to hear it. Amen. And you know what? It only matters what God says. And it only matters the way God directs them. Amen. We don't know the way from here to there in others' lives. Only God knows that direction. Only God knows that will. Only God will use everything that comes their way. And sometimes they must go through these things to experience all of his grace, all of his mercies. Amen. In their lives. So I would say to you, those that have a need to be heard, and you need that to speak out often with that need to be heard. Go to the Lord with that. You know, maybe that's something that the Lord would want to uh, correct in your life. Amen. And sometimes we just spurt it out there. Amen. Those of us that have uh, children and grandchildren. Amen. You know, we have made that we have made that mistake. Amen. And it only matters how God uh, wills in their own life. But we can pray and there's powers in a parent's prayers, a grandparent's prayer. There's power in that. Amen. There's power in the Holy Ghost. And how can any of us learn sometimes without going through things? Amen. So if you have the need to be heard and you have the need to be heard quite often and you know that that's gotten you in trouble quite often, then I would say put that scripture that is Psalm 141.3. Put it on your door, pray it before you leave your house, and then put it on your nightstand and pray it before you go to bed every night. Because that need to be heard not only is destructive for us, but can be destructive to the flow and the will of the Lord in others' lives. Amen. So I think this is a good word. All of us need to hear. All of us need to heed. <laughs> All of us need to be to heed this word. Amen. So God be with you. God, I pray for each one listening today, Father, each one, Lord God, that Lord, you are growing your body up, Lord God. And sometimes it's even in these small, sweet words, Lord God, that prick our spirit, Lord God, and cause us to realize there's something within all of us, Lord God, because we are these fleshly human beings and we are growing and learning more every day. And thank
thank God for that, Lord, that your Holy Spirit is teaching us more and we are learning more every day because, Lord, until we're with you, that's what we'll be doing in this flesh, Lord God. So let us recognize our sin quickly, Lord God, and our need to be heard, Lord God, and the need to be quiet in prayer, Lord God. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. I hope this has helped some of you. I know it got me this morning. Amen. And it's something I'm still learning with my children, you know, to be quiet, to pray, to trust God. Amen. Amen. God bless you. God keep you today. His peace be upon you in Jesus name.